Today, one of the biggest mess that I feel we are facing as a globe is that we have irresponsible comments that are being that are floating around on social media regarding one another that reduce the level of respect of the coming generation for all of us. Because we have no respect of one another in this journey of mine to your beautiful country. I've been reiterating, please differ, but with respect. I can disagree with you. You can disagree with what I'm saying right now. Perhaps pockets of what I've said. You might not agree totally. No problem. You are still my brother. You are still my sister. I will offer you utmost respect and we will say and we will part with the words. You know what? I disagree with you. That's all. It's fine. But do I need to call you a dog and a cat and a baboon and a monkey and a whatever else and so many other little animals. Some of them you have on your islands and some of them I heard you don't even have. You don't need all of that. It says more about you than it does about the other. Now, the difficulty is this is happening not just in, not just in the political arena, but even amongst religious men who are supposed to be carrying the sacred word of the Almighty. Even among them, there is cheap. What can I say? Statements that are uttered, that are not befitting your position, my brother. I remember uh, one religious man swore someone in front of me and I looked at him and I said, my brother, it doesn't suit your face to have said that F word. It doesn't suit your face. You look at the guy's face and suddenly you hear words and you're like, oh my, what happened here? May Allah Almighty forgive us. So we are genuine to our leaders by being the most responsible. And when we have a divergent or differing opinion, we may communicate it, but bearing in mind the dignity. Why the dignity? Why this respect? Because we need to preserve the coming generations. They must not stoop to a new law of swearing each other. Unfortunately, social media is already doing this. It's so hard to say what I've said, because look at the free world. People are free to swear. That's basically what they're saying. But as a Muslim in the same free world, I have chosen to be disciplined. How's that? I've chosen no matter how low they stoop, I will not stoop as low as that. It's okay. I will respond with dignity. Allahu Akbar.